Okay, everyone, take a look at this. Today is Friday, November 3rd. Banks, banks across the United States are having major issues right now. This is Bank of America. Someone just sent me this. Their deposit is being delayed according to technical issues impacting multiple financial institutions. This person, their deposit, it's not coming through. And this right here is happening to someone else. Someone on my Facebook page has said their account disappeared with Fifth Third Bank. They went to check the balance. There's no account to check. It's gone. What is going on at the financial institutions? According to one industry source, this is related to an automated clearinghouse, a network for processing transactions. The source of the problem says it does not appear to be a specific bank issue. So hold on to your reins, everyone. This is happening in the United States right now. Is this happening to you? Are you having any issues? Send this out to your friends. Every Hey, Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the elect, the remnant, beginning with the 144,000, as well as the rest of the one third men, women, and children. All right, this is um, what's going on right now. Um, you know, deposits are delayed at multiple banks. Bank of America says, Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo crash. Systems down and direct deposits fail. Right, so we have more financial woes uh, happening on top of everything that's that's happening right now. That's it's a lot going on. Let's go uh, second address 16 and 5. It says, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Um, jump down to verse 37. It says, behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall the, not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So, you know, it's a lot of people in binds right now, and to add to the binds and the stress of life right now, you know, a lot of people who trust in this system and put all their money in these banks uh, and some people woke up and didn't have access to their banks and direct deposits, which is funny because this is around that time where a lot of people get their direct deposits. So, uh, you know, the Lord is really uh, making shit happening right now, you know, with the with this money. Um, and it's all getting ready to fall and uh, a new way of buying and selling is about to come out. You know, in the midst of war, it's going to be uh, made mandatory. It's going to, you know, um, this ain't going to be optional. But the 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 powers to be are getting people to a position to where you know it is going to be very little resistance. All right, and um, in that time, you know Israel uh, is going to be going to be hurting. All right, and they're going to be turning to the Lord, and and the Lord ain't going to hear them. You know, as well as those that's even prepping and getting their money together, thinking they about to, um, you know, uh, save and stack they 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 gold and silver their way through through this. You know what I'm saying? That ain't going to work either because according to the privacy, you're going to need that mark to buy and sell. You know, maybe in underground markets, you know, a little gold and silver might can get you something for a little period. But ultimately, um, you know, it's going to be about this chip. You know what I'm saying? This is Revelation 13, 16. And he calls the both small and great, rich, poor, free, and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the name or the number of his name. Which is why everything got the QR code, code is going digital. It's going online. Everything is becoming more and more about not holding physical assets, physical things. Which, um, if you notice, like direct deposit. Even that done went here. This used to get a physical check. Now everybody opting for um, direct deposit, which I've been doing videos time, you know, here and there on this topic. And I've been, you know, just my opinion, my suggestion saying um, to hold on to your assets like your cash, um, your precious metals, you know, have things that you can hold. Because if you don't hold it, you don't own it. If you trust in, you know, leaving your money in these banks and leaving stuff online and uh, so-called these stocks and everything that's, that's electronic, you know, that ain't that ain't about nothing. And um, it's funny, I, I started a new gig yesterday and uh, I was the only one. <laughs> I was the only one in the, in the, in the class that was like, um, is anybody signing up for uh, that, that doesn't want direct deposit? I was the only one to raise my hand. And it's funny now. Now this happened. Um, Cause this this stuff like this is just me, you know, using prudence. I'm like, 
you know, this type of shit can happen here. Did you wait on your direct deposit on your bank getting hit? You know, send me my check. Mail me my shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just an example of being prudent and foreseeing evil. This Proverbs 22 and 3. And I'm not telling you to do it. It's just, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, it's just a wise thing to do. You know, just get 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 things physically. Get get your physical stuff, cause a lot of this electronic digital shit is uh it's 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 imploding and it's a lot of issues going on right now with it. Uh, Proverbs twenty two and three: A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right, cause the simple, you know, they trust in Egypt, they trust in Pharaoh and all these these great things and all these conveniences and you know they they, they don't know how none of this stuff work, but they they trust in it. You know. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children. Who are the rebellious children? Let's look up children. Let's see what that says. Is that bun? Yeah, the rebellious sons. All right. The rebellious sons of Israel. It says, uh, saith the Lord, Yahweh I was shy to take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And a lot of, you know, these sons of Jacob. Are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans? You taking counsel from all of these so-called financial gurus and all these, you know, successful people of the world instead of taking counsel from the counsel that matters, which is uh, the prophets, the servants. All right, those that are out here diligently and sincerely serving the Lord, coming out here, all right, for for the Lord's sake. Okay, rising B times. You know, for you, this is. Second Chronicles thirty six fifteen, and the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So the Lord historically would raise up men. All right. That he would use as a, a medium, you know, for your benefit, to give you sound counsel to, to you know, to benefit you right out of his compassion, out of his long suffering, his mercy, his love. Right. But what is saying in the next verse, they would mock. Right. But they mock the messages of God. And a lot of, a lot of you uh, Israelites, uh, you so-called blacks, especially um, you, you say that, you know, nothing ain't going to happen. You know, it's a fairy tale book. You know, you, you sh uh, it's all about the money. <laughs> all right. And now look. You despise the words, you misuse the prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Till there was no remedy. And that's what's about to happen. The, the wrath is being kindled. All right. And it's about to be no remedy. And in that time, all these bags that you've been out here storing are right, is going to be uh, useless. You're going to cast it out in the middle of the street. This is Ezekiel 7. 7 and 19. All right. It says we'll start at 17. It says all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with ho with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon in all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. So the bag is not about to be worth nothing, man. All right, the bag ain't about to be worth nothing, because it's a lot of jays getting to the money right now. Doing podcasts, you know, a lot, a lot of these got down... Um, uh, uh, females out here, you know, running it up on, on uh, OnlyFans and you know, uh, uh, seeking arrangements and you know uh, everything else, man. Jake, Jake know how to get to a, get to the dollar, but all of that is about to be useless because it ain't gonna deliver you. It says they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fear their bowels, because it's, because it is it it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. And why is the money a stumbling block? Because it gives you a, a false sense of, of safety and security. All right. So, you know, this is what's happening. Everyone needs to know what's happening. My name is Dave Bondi. Follow me right over there. I'm the source. Look, Shadi said my account disappeared, went to check the balance, and there's no account to check. C account just gone. This, this is what's happening in 2023. And I was just telling one of my relatives about this, and I ain't, she ain't going to listen. Uh, I was just telling a relative who came into a large sum of money, all right? And um, I'm telling her, hey, keeping all that money in that bank, so I just told her this a couple, well, a, a week or two ago. That money going to be gone, all right? That money going to be gone. You putting all, keeping all that money, you need to take some of that money out, keep it on hand, or right? you need to convert some of it into precious metals or something. 
don't keep all that money in that bank. You're going to wake up and that shit going to be gone and you're going to be out here complaining. But, of course, they ain't going to listen. But I did that just to just to put the warning out there. Just to put it out there. Just to put it out there because cause our people ain't going to listen. Let me go back to that Isaiah 30. They ain't going to listen. So, but we still have to tell them. All right. Isaiah 30 and 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not axed at my mouth. Right. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Mm. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All right, a lot of people about to have this, and they happening. They they having these confused looks on their face. Like, well, what was going on? Where's my money? Uh, what happened? Uh, my, my direct, and, and right around the time of the rent being due. Rent being due, people in bonds ain't, ain't got no discretionary income like that. Hey, man, the plagues are here, man. When the Lord plagued Egypt, he hit, uh, one of the plagues was he hit the livestock. Live, livestock was a sense of currency, man. You get milk, or you get meat from that, or you can barter, you can trade, you can get get you know other goods and services. And the Lord plagued that. All right, same thing he doing now. He plaguing. All right, uh, uh, the the plagues are here, and it's just multiple ways that, that the Lord is doing it. But it's a lot of things happening. Like the scripture says sorrow shall come on every side, every side, man. It ain't letting up. So. We'll see what My happens My Facebook next. page just said their account disappeared with technical issues impacting. Look, some deposits may, some deposits from 11.3 may be, oh, and, uh, oh, shit, matter of fact, that's what my girl went through. Um, that's what it is. That's what it is. Because she said that she was supposed to have a deposit of data that didn't come through trying to see what happened. That's, that's probably what it is. That's crazy. That's probably what it is. She probably got one of these banks that, that, that were having one of these issues. Oh, uh, quick update. I just talked to her and she said her whole account was closed. So this ain't just some shit on the Internet. This is uh, I, I, I know somebody who this actually happened to. She said she not only did she not get the direct deposit, her whole account was closed. So, hey, man, repent, man. Hey, we at the end. Hey, the Lord called it out. All these things happening right here in the midst of all this war shit. You got this going on. All right, so man, we close, man. Repent. All right, stay, stay prayed up. Fight the good fight of faith. And uh, may you continue to endure, man. All right, Lord willing, it was edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.